hello friends welcome back the objective of today's session is to lock out a user account that has multiple failed login attempts for SSH session think of a scenario when there is a hacker and that tries to log into a server using a username XYZ and he tries multiple passwords he could have a script that tries out different combination of passwords to log in into the server and in case we don't have anything that locks out a particular user IP, user or an IP address he can possibly get into the server so the objective is to lock out the user account in case the same user has more than four or five login attempts to implement this and to demonstrate this, we have a virtual machine which is CentOS 6.3 and the name is IPA and the approach that we will be using is PAM underscore tele module. As you all know that whenever we are trying to log in into a Unix machine through FTP or through SSH, there is a PAM layer which allows access to a particular service for example here is etc pam.d directory in which you can see multiple files there is a file corresponding to sshd so whenever you are trying to log in into the server using ssh this pam.d slash sshd file will be called and all these modules will be used and in case they allow you to pass you are able to log in into the server through SSH the same happens for login login means you are logging through the console SSH means through SSH so here you can see multiple PAM layers one is corresponding to auth which says that these conditions should be satisfied the username and password should be fine the username passwords whether they are to be fetched from unix or shadow file whether they are to be fetched from ldap an account whether your account is still active session open a session and to display for example you might have seen in some cases you have written a command and uh, as soon as you press enter you see an email has been received that is a session module that displays that okay so password is a module which will be called whenever you are trying to change the password so coming back to our objective the objective is to lock down a user at the first stage which is auth stage okay so how we will implement it we have a module corresponding to PAM which is PAM underscore tally 2 dot so which we will be using we are not required to remember everything just remembering the name is fine and parameters can be seen in manual pages this is a module that counts the number of failed login attempts for it and here are the parameters you can see file path to the counter file on error in case something wrong happens the module is not found or something like that whether it should succeed or fail and here are the op other options you can see the complete details in the manual even deny root it even works on boot user deny equal to n in case the number of failed uh, login attempts exceed n lock it down and don't allow him to log in lock out the amount of duration for it it's locked unlock you can lock the uh, unlock that user account after n number of seconds or you can just not use this unlock time and it will be locked forever you'll have to manually unlock that now you can just copy this line auth required pam tally underscore 2 
which says pam tally underscore uh, pam underscore tally to dot so module is to be used and that module has certain parameters that we are specifying over here deny equal to 4 in case the number of field login items is more than 4 lock it down even deny root even in case the user is root lock it down unlock time is this divided by 60 because this is in seconds so it comes out to be 20 minutes after the user account has been locked for 20 sec 20 minutes it will be unlocked and user can try after 20 minutes and in case he is trying with the correct password he will be able to log in otherwise after again uh, multiple failed login items it will again be locked so here I copy the file one thing you can do is here you see that auth required state says pam sc permit sc linux attributes that allow it and the other one is password auth so the best option is to add it in password auth oh sorry okay here is the module that we have added so the first thing that is it is going to check out is for the pam tally module and checks out for the failed login items in case they are five or more mean four than more five or more than five it will be locked and unlock time by default is 20 minutes so we don't want it to be unlocked we'll be unlocking it manually if required so I just save it and quit and now I'll see for the logs let's try to log in into this remote server provide it a wrong password authentication failure fine providing it a wrong password once again once again it's three and fourth time password fails and this is the fifth time now the user account has been locked user account tally 5 deny 4 so what if I try to log in with the right password I am trying with the correct password but it still fails, fails. the reason being tally counting has reached 7 but after 4 the user is not allowed to log in so what to do to allow the user here let's see the counter it says that this user has seven failed login attempts and the latest failure at is at this interval of time and from this IP address so let me reset the counter for the user Arcival syntax is spam underscore tally to minus minus user equal to username minus minus reset and if I see now it's zero so if I try to log in right now with the correct password I will be able to log in so this is how it works so the summary is that Linux by default has a pam underscore tally module which is for PAM that can be used to lock out a particular user account in case 
a user has more than n number of failed login attempts. The file that is to be modified is etc pam.d password auth one more thing that you see is I try to log in from here and the counter will not increase sorry I tried with root the counter did not increase the reason is that it's now it's not yet implemented for the login if we see pam dot d slash login it uses system auth rather than password auth here you cannot see password auth anywhere so I just copy this line and place it in system auth system auth and now if I try to log in even from the console my counter will increase in case the login fails pam underscore tally to minus minus user equal to root doing something wrong auth include system auth pam.d system auth let me see the mistake that I am doing the best option to the login could be you may comment it from here and you may add this line over here and here you can see that failure is 1 and after 4 failed login items you will not be able to log in even through the console but that's not generally recommended the reason is that uh, whoever has access to the console should be trusted here you can see your account is locked due to five failed login attempts here you can see right now even if you try to provide it the right password you will not be able to log in so it means you are not able to log in through the root you will have to log in through a different user this is very interesting question in case you have locked the user account root
how will you reset the password so I logged in into a regular user that is rcval and then I did su minus or I'll do sudo su minus and I'll become root and minus minus user equal to root I see it has five failed login attempts so I just reset it here it's zero so now if I try to log in into this machine as root it will succeed so this is one of the method to block a user account after multiple failed login attempts the other approach to block could be blocking an IP address from which we are getting multiple failed login attempts for that we can use deny host but uh, we'll have a separate video for that thanks for listening good day